now. Uh, this last little part of my review is just on this Tilly hat. I just picked it up. It's 100% wool. I think it's, or wait, it's 80% wool, like 15% nylon or something like that, and a few percentage of whatever's left. But it is a pretty warm hat. So, so far, it's pretty nice. It has these fold-down uh, ear warmers. I don't know if they're neoprene or exactly what they are, but they work. They're th real thin, but they cover your ears and they keep the wind off really good. And I think it's a pretty good-looking hat. It's kind of like an Australian, kind of Aussie-style hat, but... I like it and it's lined so it keeps that itchy wool up off of your head and I'll, I'll show you the liner up close okay there it is it just flopped around like that when you put it on with the ear muffs up you just fold the liner down it does have a hidden pocket here that's showing up so you can put like your your ID or a hunting license or a fishing license or whatever in there. Survival card, maybe 20 bucks, have a little extra money. But it is fully lined. I got a seven and three quarters. And it's actually fits me a little loose, but it's it's not bad. And you just tuck that up like that and throw it up on your head and that's yeah, just a nice comfortable fit nice warm hat it doesn't this one doesn't have a strap i've seen different reviews where they make all these different models and some of them have like a headband strap so the wind can't blow it off i could use that today because the wind is just relentless but it is warm and the only thing on me that started getting cold was my ears. So I flapped down the uh, ear warmers. And all you do is go like this. Just pull them down and hold on to them like that. And then just pick it up and put it on your head. Make sure it's over your ears. And it works so good. Like I can't even feel that wind hitting my ears. And And a lot of things I've noticed in the past with other hats is uh, if you fold the ear flaps down, it makes the whole hat looser. And for some reason, it doesn't seem to be the case with this one. Like, it feels like it's fitting me just as good with the ear flaps down as it does with them up inside. And I actually like that. And for as warm as this is, it's it's so lightweight it's like kind of like a crushable hat you just roll it up it's not heavy at all i have several uh what are they called they're filson hats packer hats filson packer hats and they're super nice hats too but they're they're so heavy and i have one that has the ear warmers in it and when you fold them down to wear it like that you can tell it's noticeably looser than it is with uh, them folded up inside. But this is fine. It's I don't know down to like what temperatures it would be good to because today is about 49, 48, 49 degrees with some strong wind and it's great, it's comfortable. But yeah, then when the wind quits blowing and you don't need your ears covered, like I said, you just flap it down, it falls into place, throw it back on, and you don't have, there's no wire in the brim. You don't even have to mess around shaping it because it's just, it falls right into place. Like every time. And I think it's like a pretty good looking hat. They go for about 89 to 100 bucks from Telly, but they're worth, they're worth it. I might pick up another one. So, just there's not a whole lot of reviews of this out there. I know right now online you can find the charcoal gray ones. 
and uh, I think there's like a brown tweed that actually looks really good. But this one is the older, older model. You can still find them like on Amazon. And uh, it's the true black, it's definitely darker. And I actually like that because I already have enough uh, charcoal gray hats. I wanted just a black kind of Australian, Western kind of look. I'm just turning side to side and stuff so you can just get a view of it from every angle. See how the hat moves. But what's cool is like if you sit in your vehicle and your head leans against the headrest, it's soft enough it just, just bends out of the way without popping the hat off of your head. So that's really good. I actually recommend this. If I ever get another one in the future, I'll probably get the 7 and 5 eighths because I think the seven and three quarters might be, might be a bit large, although it's working fine. It's just if you prefer a slightly looser hat or a slightly more snug hat. Usually I like looser, so I might actually regret it if I get a smaller one. <laughs> but yeah, this is a neat hat. So I thought I'd do a review and put it out there now that fall is coming to a close soon and winter's on its way. You might be interested in one of these. It's the Tele Woltec hat. And I think they have a Woltec 2 and all that also, but yeah, you can't go wrong with this.